This is a really cool old version of Bambi, Walt Disney's Bambi that I found and I thought I would read on the channel. Based on the original story by Felix Salton, adapted by P.J. Shaw. Bambi came into the world in the middle of the forest thicket. The little hidden thicket was scarcely big enough for the new Bambi baby and his mother. What a beautiful baby, cried a magpie, and away she flew to spread the news to all the other animals of the forest. Hoo, hoo, the owl said sleepily, hearing all the commotion. Wake up, friend owl, a rabbit called. It's happening. The young prince is born. Everyone's going to see him, said the squirrels. With a sigh, the owl spread his wings and flew off toward the thicket. There he found squirrels and rabbits and birds peering through the bushes at a doe and a little spotted fawn. The fawn was Bambi, the new prince of the forest. Congratulations, said the owl to the doe. It isn't often that a prince is born in the forest. The doe looked up. Thank you, she said quietly. She gently nudged her sleeping baby until he lifted his head and looked around. At last, he pushed up on his legs, his thin legs. Look, he's trying to stand up already, shouted one of the little rabbits. He's awfully wobbly, though, isn't he? Thumper, the mother rabbit explained, exclaimed, pulling him back. That's not a pleasant thing to say. The new fawn's legs were not very steady. It was true, but at last he stood beside his mother. Now all the animals could see the fine white spots on his red-brown coat and a sweet expression on his soft baby face. The forest around him echoed with small, cheerful whispers. A soft breeze rustled the leaves about the thicket. The fawn nestled closer to his mother and closed his sleepy eyes. Quietly, the animals and birds slipped away through the forest. Thumper, the rabbit, was last to go. Oh, what are you going to name the young prince? he asked. I'll call him Bambi, the mother answered. Bambi, Thumper repeated. Bambi. Well, that's a good name. Goodbye, Bambi. And he hopped away after his sisters. Bambi was not a sleepy baby for long. Soon, he was followed by following his mother down the narrow forest paths. Bright flowers winked from beneath the leaves. Prickly branches tickled his legs as he passed. Squirrels and chipmunks looked up and called, Good morning, young prince. Opossums, hanging by their long tails from tree branch, said, Hello, Prince Bambi. The fawn looked at them all with wandering eyes, but he did not say a word. Finally, as Bambi and his mother reached a little clearing in the forest, they met Thumper and his family. Hi, Bambi, said Thumper. Come and play. Come on and play. Oh, yes, let's play, Thumper's sister cried, and away they hopped over branches and hillhocks and tufts of grass. Bambi soon understood the game, and he began to jump and run on his stiff, spindly legs. Thumper jumped over a log, and his sisters followed. Come on, Bambi, Thumper called. Hop over the log. Bambi jumped, but not far enough. He fell with a plop on the top of the log. Too bad, said Thumper. You'll do better next time. Bambi untangled his legs and stood up again, but still did not speak. He pranced along behind Thumper, and soon he saw a family of birds sitting on a branch. Bambi looked at them. Those are birds, Bambi, Thumper told him. Birds. Bird, Bambi said slowly. The young prince had finally spoken his first word. Thumper and his sisters were all excited, and Bambi himself was pleased. He repeated the word over and over to himself. Then Bambi saw a butterfly cross the path. Bird! Bird! he cried again. 
<laughs> no, Bambi, said Thumper. That's not a bird. That's a butterfly. The butterfly disappeared into a clump of yellow flowers. Bambi bounded toward them happily. Butterfly, he cried. No, Bambi, said Thumper. Not butterfly. Flower. Thumper pushed his nose into the flowers and sniffed. Bambi did the same. Out from the bed of flowers came a small black head with two shining eyes. Flower, said Bambi. The black eyes twinkled. As the little animal stepped out, the white stripe down his black furry back glistened in the sun. Thumper was laughing so hard that he could scarcely speak. That's not a flower, he said. That's a skunk. Flower, repeated Bambi. Oh, I don't care, said the skunk. The young prince can call me Flower if he wants to. I don't mind. Flower, Bambi repeated. So, Flower the skunk got his name. One morning, Bambi and his mother walked down a new path that led to a great bright open space that spread out before them. Bambi wanted to bound out there to play in the sunshine, but his mother stopped him. Wait, she said. You must never run out of the without making sure it is safe. She took a few slow, careful steps forward, and she lifted, listened, and sniffed in all directions. Then she called, Come. Bambi bounded out. He felt so good and so happy that he leaped into the air again and again for the meadow was the most beautiful place he had ever seen. His mother dashed forward and showed him how to race and play in the tall grass. Bambi ran after her. He felt as if he were flying. Round and round they raced in great circles, and at last his mother stopped and stood still, catching her breath. Then Bambi set out by himself to explore the meadow. He spied his little friend, the skunk, sitting in the shade of the blossoms. Good morning, flower, said Bambi, and he found Thumper and his sisters nibbling sweet clover. Try some, Bambi, said Thumper, so Bambi did. Suddenly, a big green frog popped out of the clover patch and hopped over to a meadow pond. Bambi had not seen the pond before, so he hurried over for a closer look. As the fawn came near, the frog hopped into the water. Where could it have gone, Bambi wondered. So he bent down to look into the pond. As the ripples cleared, Bambi jumped back, for he saw a fawn down there in the water, looking out at him. Don't be frightened, Bambi, said his mother told him. You are just seeing yourself in the water. So Bambi looked once more, and this time he saw two fawns looking back at him. He jumped back again, and as he lifted his head, he saw that it was true. There was another little fawn standing beside him. Hello, she said. Bambi backed away and ran into his mother, where she was quietly eating grass beside another doe. Don't be afraid, Bambi, his mother said. This is little Faline. Hello, whispered Bambi in a small, small voice. Come and play, Bambi, said Faline. Bambi dashed away and Faline raced after him. They almost flew over that meadow. Up and down they chased each other over the little hill hillocks. They raced. When they stopped all topsy-turvy and breathless, they were good friends. And Bambi knew that he and Faline and Thumper and Flower would be friends forever. Good night. I love you.